Welcome to the making of tutorial for creating the Renaissance Queen of Hearts. We will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of achieving the desired result, starting from the initial prompt. Step 1. Exploring prompts. Initially, we experimented with different prompts, including Evil Queen of Hearts, Maximalist Fashion, Bondage, Fetish Dark, Hyper Detail, in the style of a Renaissance painting. Although the results were interesting, they did not align with the desired direction. Step 2. Refining the vision. We modified the keywords to Renaissance painting, Middle Ages, brushstroke textures, old painting, dulled colors, queen of hearts, white face paint to refine the vision. This provided a closer starting point. Step 3. Creating textures. To achieve a more painted look, we decided to generate textures for later use in Photoshop. The first texture generated was a Renaissance painting cracks texture in black and white. This added paint cracks to the image. Zooming out a few times helped to adjust scale as desired. Step 4. Generating frame texture. We utilized the prompt Renaissance frame texture, gold, old, to create a frame image with a gold and aged appearance. Step 5. Layering in Photoshop. In Photoshop, we created six layers to compose the final image. Layer 1. We started with the original queen image as the base layer. Layer 2. Duplicated the queen image and applied an oil paint filter. We also changed the layer mode to screen and reduced the opacity. Layer 3. Added the generated cracks texture as a new layer. Set the layer mode to multiply and adjusted the opacity. Layer 4. Applied a royalty-free parchment texture found on Google Images to give the illusion of light damage. I then set the layer mode to multiply and adjusted the opacity to 48. Layer 5. Duplicated the cracks layer and applied legacy, brightness and contrast adjustments to remove shading. I then created a duplicate of the cracks layer, flipped it around and merged it with the original to add finer cracks. I changed the multiply mode with a low opacity of 32. Layer 6. Here I applied the generated frame image and removed the inside to reveal the queen behind it. I also added a drop shadow effect to give the frame depth. And that concludes the making of the Renaissance Queen of Hearts. If this type of video is something you want to see more of, give us some love and your thoughts in the comments section. This will let us know that you want more, and you shall have it.